So uh, last time we went over what an array is, how it's numbered, how the positions are numbered. So today I'm actually gonna you know give you like a visual intuition about how how to think about the concept of an array because sometimes people get a little bit daunted and they can't do the programs and they get a little confused. I don't want that to happen because it's a fairly simple concept. It's nothing that you should have um, difficulty understanding because it's is very real life oriented like you can just think of it in real life and like it's analogous to something in real life so like i said last time an array is a collection it's that's all it is there's nothing more to it like if you studied math um you would have studied something called set theory you can have like a set of numbers four five six seven eight now this is is a set so essentially it has how many elements one two three four five five elements now if this was an array in a computer it would be numbered zero through four one two three but if 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 say this array was called a okay this was called a and you called a dot length and you try to access the variable a dot length let's say you have an integer x and you want to store it there x is an int remember that let's say you have this statement this would assign the value of 5 to x so this is something you have to remember while using arrays let's say you want to loop through an array how do i do this if if i want to go through every array and let's say i want to um print out every number so i can go for int i equals zero you have to go from zero because you're going from position zero through four so i less than x i plus plus and we use this less than x because let's say we've assumed x to store the value of a dot length and here all you have to do is stem.out.println a i this is how you access an element in an array this is the subscript notation if you want to access element at position 0 a 0 position at element 1 a 1 2 a 2 and so on so position at ai ai so that's why when i is 1 and if you're going through this set and i equals 1 it prints out 4 i equals 2 5 so on now since you've got down what an array is, basically what it is in your head, let's move on to something further. Let's say I want to define an array. Let's say I define it like this integer. Let's say I have an array of, um, I'm trying to think of something, an array of um, sorry guys I can't think of anything I'm just gonna go with a stupid example and um, a day of cookies don't ask me why I chose this I was eating butter cookies today cookies are nice chocolate chip butter there are so many types so let's say you had a coding system so one would denote butter two would denote chocolate three would denote um normal since i can't think of anything else so you could define this like this one two three this declares the array 
and assigns it at the same time what you can do is you can declare the array first int c c for cookies and i'm just trying to expose you to different kinds of notation right now that's why i used it here first box the, the box brackets there and now here is equal to new int let's say 3 and here you've assigned it and declared it in the same go but you haven't assigned the elements to anything so now you have to go like c0 is equal to 1 dot 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 yada yada whatever I'm hoping that you're understanding the gist of what I'm saying now let's think of it visually if I have an element here let's say this green thing here is my array I have four elements numbered one two three four but in Java what happens zero one two three remember that it's important let's say this element con this box at position zero contains the element seven this contains nine contains 11 this contains 13 right and I told you you wanted to switch basically you wanted to bring 7 to where 9 is and obviously 9 to where 7 is how would you do that now think of it this way you can't just write a 0 oh I'm sorry you want to switch a 0 is equal to a1 and think that uh, since 7 is at 0 7 will go as in um, 9 will go to 7 and now if I write a1 is equal to a0 which basically means since 9 is at 7 and now 7 will become at 9 because a0 is 7 so 9 will become 7 that won't work I'll tell you why when you write a0 is equal to a1 this 7 gets overwritten and 9 comes there and when you write a1 is equal to a0 you are just rewriting this 9 over here so what's the point of that which is why this is how you swap you need to have an extra variable to that int t let's say it's equal to 0 initially now suppose you want to swap ai and aj AI and AJ. So what you write is T is equal to AI AI is equal to T. I'm sorry, sorry. That's not what you would write. AI is equal to AJ. My bad. And AJ is equal to t so what happens here this is the swap code you will not imagine how important this code is let's say go back to my box this time let's make it 4 suppose we have 4 here 5 7 10 let's say we wanted to change the element at position 0 with the element at position 1 basically 4 and 5 how would we do this we have t set to 0 what did I say you wanted to change 0 with 1 so a t is equal to a0 a0 is equal to a1 a1 equal to t so what's happening here this value of t first t is equal to 4 right that's being stored over there that's the first line t is equal to 4 next what's happening a0 what's a0 a0 is 4 
A zero is being rubbed off from there. It's being rubbed off completely and being rewritten as A one. What is A one? Five. This has become five. So five is gone here. Now what's happening? A one is being rewritten as T. So A one gets completely rubbed off here. And what gets rewritten here? T. What's T? T is just nothing but four. So what have we done? We've swapped these two. These they've interchanged places. So that, my friends, was the swapping logic, something that you'll use. And I'll give you a problem for homework. Try this out. Let's say you have an array of length um, ten. Array of length ten. What I want you to do is, it's an integer array, int array of length ten. What I want you to do is, I want you to uh, try and um, take the fourth element. And put it in the place of the ninth element. A four equal to A nine. A three equal to A eight. Eight and you know, like two goes to seven. It's like a map. One maps to six. So that's how. That's what I want you to do. And if you can write that code yourself, then well, your understanding arrays is a good thing. If you can't, you need to watch these videos again. So have a good day, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and please pass the word around to your friends so that even they can learn a few things. I hope you are not getting too confused by arrays. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.